Now I can continue where I left off. For those who have no idea what I'm talking about, um, so someone who was a really close friend of mine in Staten Island, um, I know his name's high school, he's involved in a murder. I, well, I didn't know anything, but um, prior to that, I know him since high school. He's been my best friend since high school. He had nowhere to go. I made him come stay with me. You know, he's my best friend. What am I gonna do, make him, keep him homeless? So, whatever, so one night, he decides he wants to steal my car. Like, I used to leave money around him, my credit cards around him. Like, basically, he was probably trying to like build my trust. And like, I've left tons of things around him. My Michelle, well, I left everything around him. So one night when I fell asleep, he decided he wanted to rob, oh my god, he wanted to rob my car, my credit cards, and my ID. For what? Obviously, I know what the credit cards are for, but my ID, like really? So anyway, I report, I, I fell asleep Friday night, and I woke up to my car, and my credit cards gone. And, you know, I literally didn't want to call the cops. And so I gave him two days to, like, literally two days to bring it back. You know, begging and pleading with him, like, you know, maybe you're going through something. Please bring it back, bring it back. You know, it's car, they can't mind. Like, if you get into an accident, you know, how, like, I don't let anybody drive my car. For those who know me, know that I don't even let my kid's father drive my car, let alone some someone who doesn't have a license and someone who gets high he claims he was clean um he used he would come back to my house high and i would tell him do not get high and like don't come to my house high like i have my children here and like he begged and pleaded and he cried i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm like one more time you do it you're out like you know and then i would tell him you know once in a while like at least twice a week i'm like you know you gotta get a job you, you can't stay here like i need my privacy too like this is my life you know yeah i know you're my friend but like come on so um whatever i called the cops that sunday and as soon as i said as soon as my dad um and first as soon as my dad said to him Bring the car back because we're going to call the cops. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I had a mental breakdown. I'm bringing the car back now. I'm so sorry. I didn't use Yeah, I know my dude, you didn't use my cards because I canceled them. The minute I knew that I seen that they were stolen. Like, the minute I knew, like seen that they were stolen, that you took them, I canceled my cards. Like, I don't bust my ass for someone to fucking steal my shit. So. Now he's wanted now he has a warrant for his arrest because he saw he, he left my car in stop and shop parking lot with the fake key not a fake key like i had a nissan maxima before i had my this one and i had the key the old key in my glove my um like my glove compartment and like the middle thing so he found it so when the police officer was like you know just leave the car we'll go get it anthony went into my car He's like, Al, this isn't the key. I'm like, what do you mean? So I called Troy. I, I called my friend and I was like, yo, where is my key? Like, bro. He's like, it's in the car. I'm like, no, where is my key? Mind you, he returned my, my credit cards and my ID because now they canceled. So whatever. And he's like, you, I pushed him. I'm like, no, you didn't. And I was like, you know where they are. I was like, I'm giving you a He's like, you have them. I said, listen to me. I'm giving you one more chance to tell me, like all the time, like I'm getting, getting tired, this and that, and um, and like whatever. But you want to talk shit about me? That's on you. Whatever. So um, now three days later, I guess he was in touch with people, or whatever, and he was staying at this fucking crackhead's house, and I was in touch with the cops and. Yeah, I fucking did tell them where he was, where I thought he was. I I wanted, like, you know, I like, that's it. Like, you fucking hurt me. You broke my heart. You were my best friend, and this is what you did to me. So, um. I get home one day from the from school, from work, and, um. 
I see that he's arrested for murder. Like, my heart sank. I'm like, I had a fucking... I had him, I had him in my house. God forbid he would have done something to my kids. Like, I know he's not a murder. I, I know this isn't him. Like, and, But this is what drugs do to you. And, um... So now, P.S., a month he gets caught. He's in jail, whatever. Now, yesterday, some fucking crackhead... You know, the crackhead... Junkie junk box message Anthony, my kid's father, and told him that I'm lying about him stealing my car, that I keep saying he stole it and he really didn't. My dude, the cops have every text message. Like, you thought they weren't gonna take my phone? The dude was like, the guy was living with me. You don't think he's gonna take, they're gonna take my phone and look at my messages? I have nothing to hide. So I said, here's my phone, take my phone. They have every text message, you crackhead whore. So, just because your fuck buddies in jail, don't message my family. Like, don't do it to yourself. I'm not threatening you, but if something happens to me or my kids, it's not going to be fun. Like, it's not going to be pretty. Like, don't do it to yourself. I have a job. Like, I'm not going to get myself fired or lose my kids because you're crazy and you're on drugs. Yeah, he was my friend before he was yours. And, like, and I had, like, I tell him, oh, a breach of con. Like, you know, like, you know when someone thinks they know the law? She's like, oh, it's not grand larceny. It's breach of contract. He didn't have fucking permission to take my car. Like, you psychotic fucking asshole. Like, you know nothing. Stop. But, yeah, that's the story. And, like, I, I keep getting, like... I blocked everybody. Like, I, I just I just want to let you guys know, like, this is just bullshit. And this is, like, that's the real story behind it. Before you, anybody hears anything or sees articles and... This has nothing to do with me. The only thing that had to do with me was my fucking car being stolen. So don't make assumptions. Don't say I made him use my car because I didn't. I don't make no one use my fucking car. I'm lucky I drive my car. Like, pathetic. You're all fucking pathetic. Every each and each and every fucking one of you crackheads who think you know shit, you know fucking nothing but to how to get high. Get a real fucking job and then tell me. Get a career and then tell me how to live fucking life. Pay my bills and then tell me how to live my life. I'm fucking sick of it. I like I mind my business. I don't have drama. My life is peaceful. 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 Unlike yours, you guys feed into the fucking drama. I don't. So, with that being said, just leave me the fuck alone. And I know I keep, I know in my last live I said it, but that's the story. Just leave me the fuck alone. Leave me out of your little fucking drug-induced comas. Leave me out of your drug fucking fantasies. Leave me out of your lying and leave me out of all this shit. He fucking stole my car. You want